Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over how to make a cutscene like the one being shown on the video right now. We will go over three things, how to make your camera move during a cutscene, how to cut between different cameras in your cutscene, and how to animate your character in a cutscene. So let's go over how to make a cinematic cutscene in Unreal Engine. So in this video I have this map, although it doesn't matter which map you use because in this video we're just going to be going over the tools which you need to use in order to make a cutscene. So the first thing that I like to do is you want to head over to where it says window in the top left and go to cinematics and just click on the sequencer. And then you want to head over to where it says cinematics here and then go add level sequence. And then what I like to do is just right click and create a new folder and I'll call this sequencer. And then if we double click and head inside here and click save and it'll create this sequencer. So this is what we're going to use to help make our cutscene. So the first thing I do in order to find a nice starting shot for your cutscene, we can just move around in the viewport and once you find a uh, area that you like, so I'm going to start my cutscene from here, in order to make it so that cutscene starts from this exact position, we can head over to this little tab in the top left and you just want to go to, and scroll down and go to create camera here and just select camera actor and it will select a camera actor in this exact position so that can be a little handy feature and once you've done that just make sure it's selected and then you want to go to track and go add it to sequencer and select add camera actor 3. And then another thing that I like to do before we make a cutscene is if we just go to where it says 30 FPS and you want to go show time as and show time as seconds and along here it will just show you how long this cutscene is so by default it's going to be around 5 seconds. So the first thing we want to do in our cutscene is make it so that our camera moves backwards. So in order to achieve this effect, I'm first going to go back to my camera and we just want to scroll down here and click this little plus button on the transform and this will just track our camera's location, rotation and scale. So at zero it's location, rotation and scale are these values and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to something like 3 seconds along the camera and I'm just going to drag this back. And then I'm just going to click this little plus button again. And if I just move this, you can see that over these three seconds, my camera will start to move back. So the next thing I do in this cutscene that I make is I have a different cutscene uh, view. So we're going to do that right now. So in order to do that, you first just want to drag this camera actor and just drag this tape back to three seconds. And then what we're going to do is create a new camera which will record this cutscene from a different angle. So I'm going to just find that angle. So the next shot I did in the starting video was this top down view. So I've just found my top down position and we're going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to go click here and create a camera here and select camera actor. And then I'm going to go do track, actor to sequence and add camera actor four. Although this time where it says camera cuts, we also just want to click add camera and add camera 4. So from here where the camera cuts is, it's going to start um, showing the footage from camera 4 instead of camera 3. So for my camera 4, I'm just going to close this because I'm not going to edit it anymore. And at 3 seconds, I'm just going to click here to track the transform of my camera 4. And I'm just going to hold the control button and scroll by mouse wheel and that'll just zoom it out a bit. And in total, my cutscene is going to be around 12 seconds. So I'm just going to drag from this red arrow and move it. Actually, I'm going to make my cutscene around 40 seconds. And I'll just move this here. And then I'll hold control and zoom in with my mouse button and just move around here. So I'm just going to drag off here and make it. So we're going to be on camera actor 4 for around 3 seconds. And then, like with the first camera, I'm going to make this camera move. So I'm just going to hover over to where it's 7 seconds. And then I'm just going to select my camera 4. And move it across like this. And click the transform button. So now my camera 4 is going to move from here along these 3.5 seconds. And then I'm going to add one more camera. 
So I'm just going to move this a bit here to tidy. And this last camera is going to be from around this view. So I'm just going to click here and go create camera here, camera actor. This is camera actor five. I'll just click here, actor sequence, add camera actor five. And I'll also just go to camera cut scan, add camera, add camera five. And for my camera five, I'm going to track it. It's transformed, so I'll just click here. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the end of my cutscene. Here. And I will move it across all the way here. And click track, transform. And now I've set up all the cameras that I want for my cutscene. So now that I've set up all the different cameras that I'm going to have in my cutscene, there's one more thing that I want to do. I'm just going to make it so that I have my character running across this path. And then as he's running across this path, when my cutscene plays, it's going to show all these different cameras. So in order to have your character running across this path, the first thing you want to do is head over to the content browser and find um, your character's animations. So for me, they're in the mannequin animations folder and I can just grab this third person run animation and I'm just gonna rotate it so it's facing the correct direction. And then I'm also just gonna change it so it's the, this knight character that I have just cause it looks a bit cooler. And then we can head back into sequencer. And what you wanna do is just make sure that this knight character is selected. I'm just gonna move him up a bit. And then you wanna go to track add to sequence and track this at the person run. And then in order to make it so that it plays this running animation or any animation that you may have for your character, you just wanna head over to where it says animation and click add animation. And for me, I just want it to be the third person run. I'm just gonna uh, zoom out and scroll up it to the left and just drag this to the start because I want my character to be running for most of this. And I'm just going to drag this across this whole cutscene so that my character will be running across the whole cutscene. So as I move this, you can see my character is running. Although, as we can see, my character is running, although he's not moving. So in order to achieve that effect, I am just going to, again, select my character and scroll down and go to transform. And then I'm going to head all the way to the end of the cutscene to around 13 seconds. Actually, I'll head around 12 seconds and I will just move my character from here all the way, let's say here, and just go add transform so that my character is running from here to here along this cutscene. So with that, I'm happy with my cutscene. I've got my character running across this map and then it's gonna show it from all these different angles. So now that I've set this up, there's one last thing we need to do and that is to make it so that this cutscene plays when we click the play game button. So I'm gonna have it so that this cutscene instantly plays as soon as we click the play game button. So in order to do that, just head over to your world outlier and look for your level sequence and just select it. And then you wanna head over to blueprints, open level blueprint, and then right click and look for event begin play so as soon as the game starts it's going to run this event and what we want to do is just right click and create a reference to our sequence or what, whatever your sequence is called and you just want to drag up here and look for get sequence player whoops so i'm going to scroll down and here it is get sequence player and then you just want to drag up here and look for play play and then you just want to connect event begin play into here and now if I click the play button it is doing my cutscene okay so that is looking okay it does look like some camera angles can be um, fixed but I'm not going to go over that um, as you can see, at the end of the cutscene, um, the character was still running and that looked a bit weird. So we are just going to fix that. So I'm just going to head over to around here, frame 12, when my character stopped running. 
and I'm going to make it so my character switches back to his idle animation. So I'm just going to drag this third person run, drag it here. And then in order to add a new animation, so our character swaps, just head over to add animation and I'm going to make it third person idle. And I'm just going to drag this here because um, the camera will only show everything that is up to this red line. So if I, if I go here, we can see that my character will now go to his idle animation. So I realized there are actually um, two more issues that um, uh, I want to fix in this cutscene and that is the first thing is that we can see this player character so I'm going to make it so that he's hidden and the next thing I'm going to do is make it so that this actor will delete itself after the cutscene is over. So in order to achieve those effects I'm first just going to move my player character here so he's roughly in the same position when the cutscene ends and then to make it so that the player character is hidden when, when the cutscene is playing you just want to head over to your level sequence and just select it and then scroll down and just go to hide player there are also some other helpful um, features that you can do so as you can see it can disable movement input and look input so I'm just going to check these as well and if you had a HUD you could also hide that HUD as well so if I just go to the end of here we can see that my cut we can see that my cutscene is roughly 13, 14 seconds. So after 14 seconds, I'm gonna make it so it deletes this actor. So to do that, I'm just gonna select this actor, head over to my blueprints, open level blueprint, right click, and create a reference to this third person run, and drag off here and look for destroy actor. And then I'm just gonna drag off this player and have a delay. And then in the duration, I'm gonna put 14 seconds. So after 14 seconds, it is going to destroy this actor. So now I click compile, close this and click play. Doing my cutscene, showing the different angles. Can't see my player character because we removed him. Then after 14 seconds, deletes him and then I am my player character. So that is all for this video. And that is how to make a cinematic cutscene inside Unreal Engine. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.